Today we are showing you how to mark out a dovetail twig. Firstly, you make, make sure you have the right tools needed. Sliding bevel, dry square, a 2H pencil, a metal rule, a marking gauge, and your two pieces of paper. To start off, you lay your wood out and mark out the face marks. You do this to get the wood in the right position. Then get out your metal rule and measure the length of the wood to find the centre point. We need to do this so that the dovetail is marked out in the middle. Use your pencil and try square to mark out the middle point. Then measure the width of the wood and find the middle point. Measure each side of the middle point. This should be the same measurements both sides. Use this measurement to mark out either side of the middle point where the dovetail would be. Use a pencil and cross to do this. Mark. Now you need to work out the, side, the angle of your dovetail. The measurement of this is the ratio 6 to 1. Set your sliding bevel to this angle, then mark this out on the inside of the lines you've already drawn. Before you start on the next piece of wood, you need to find the depth of the dovetail. This is halfway down on the edge, on the face edge. Using your rule, find the middle point on the face edge. Set your marking gauge to this middle point and mark along the face edge. Turning your wood over, mark along the other edge. Using your tri square, follow the lines down from the dovetail to the middle point on both edges. Now you've finished this piece, mark out where you will be cutting it. Sorry, it's coming. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Oh, I'm going to carry on. No, no, no. <laughs> crack on. You have the simplest job. <laughs> Okay. Now pick up the second piece of timber. Firstly mark out 10mm at the top of the waist line. Draw this line all the way around with a tri-square and a pencil. Knowing the width of your piece of wood already, mark that down from the waist line and mark that line all the way around. Then with the already set marking gauge, mark from line to line along the edge. And draw in it with a pencil to make it visible. Then set out your sliding pencil and mark it out on the front of the piece of wood. Now you have marked out everything, so mark out where you are going to cut. We didn't use the